So according to DCAR, right after the price cuts, all right, the discounts, Neo sold over 1,700 vehicles in just the morning, okay? But there is a big catch, and there's also some very important information that the sales reps leaked to these reporters, okay? So of course, we talked about the price cuts. So here it is revealed that the change will just be the A295 chip. However, the discounts seem a little bit more steep than just the price of A295 chip. For reference, Gen 1 vehicles upgrading to 8155 chip only costed around 15,000 RMB, but they're giving up to 32,000 RMB in discount. Now the sales rep reveals here that the reasoning for the discount is because in January the sales were not as good as December so they changed the policy. The reporter also said that in Beijing the stores were still relatively empty uh, even after the discount. And of course it's all reflected in the sales numbers in December, last week of December 6,000, first week of January 3,000 and then second week of January 1,700 so obviously not exactly great delivery numbers but it seems like they sold 1,700 in just one morning according to these reporters. Now these price cuts even though they're only for inventory cars could be for more long-lasting price adjustments depending on how it's received and interestingly uh, earlier this other D D car reporter came to the same store and also made a video and he interviewed the sales reps as well and what's really interesting is one of the key information they said there's only 2,000 units of, uh, of inventory for all of these cars and so apparently 1,700 of them have already been sold so this is according to this report okay so I'm not too sure about the validity of it but this is what they said and then they also said that the factory will also go on vacation and do a little bit of an adjustment for the, the newer refreshed vehicle models which will have of course the A295 chip but he did interestingly reference a old interview that Neo CEO did that of course Neo CEO said they would never do price cuts ever 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 and this is the clip of it but of course it seems like now they might have to do price cuts uh, more permanent price cuts in the future and we'll have to see how the market responds to this okay What's apparently clear is that this discount is only for inventory cars, whereas previously the discounts were only for showroom cars, all right? So this is uh, something you got to understand. So uh, showroom cars are those in display but are also considered inventory cars. Inventory cars are those that have been built but not delivered, maybe the uh, near the order guy decided not to take delivery of the car that car would then be an inventory car so neil's got a lot of these inventory cars that they want to clear up and apparently if you order a brand new neo from the new app it's still the regular price so if they're just clearing up inventory cars inventory cars are also brand new but they're just already built and what's really interesting is that on the new app, I'm seeing a lot of the comments, a lot of existing owners, some of them saying that they uh, they missed out on this. Others are saying that now price cuts need an excuse. So perhaps maybe Neo is using this, you know, chip change, chip refresh as an excuse to l lower the prices and potentially even permanently lower the prices in the future as well. As for deliveries, we might see a modest rebound. However, because of the fact that the factory is going to go on vacation, we can expect that during Chinese New Year, deliveries will, of course, be like non-existent for all vehicle models, for all auto manufacturers. Everybody's going to be on vacation. Customers are also going to be on vacation as well. So nobody's going to be taking delivery of their cars during Chinese New Year. So uh, don't expect too much even though this is very good uh, there's big clearance right now for inventory cars very very good now here's how things are going to pan out in my personal opinion so right now clearance yes inventory cars we, we're going to see like 
st- like just okay deliveries even though like 1700 units in the morning these are more like people that are rushing in to buy the car but most people will probably still wait for the a295 version so uh starting in march 1st we're probably gonna see a slight uptick in deliveries and it depends on what kind of pricing they do if they keep it at the same price then we'll see like a slight uptick if they decide to like make the price a little bit lower and that way i think that will have a massive boost on deliveries and just absolutely make make deliveries skyrocket now remember that the big reasons why deliveries haven't been so well are still there all right Uh, first of all harder to get license plates in shanghai and also because of uh, the purchase tax for evs as well and all new energy vehicles it's still all there all right the government incentives all gone etc so the those factors those negative factors are still all there now it's all about how auto manufacturers can counteract that negative effect from those policies and offering basically price cuts incentives tesla price cuts lee auto price cuts neo also these price cuts for inventory cars but it seems like they might have to do permanent price cuts and i think if they can lower the price of the et5 and et5 t down to around this 274k rmb but even for newer cars then it will actually sell quite well but i do think price cuts may come in the form of a battery price adjustment and that would make much more sense and that would actually be a lot easier for existing new owners to handle as well and take in and basically adjust down the price of the battery for purchasing and also the price of bass that would also be very very fair and i think will be an excellent move to help deliveries in the upcoming months which would be very very tough in my personal opinion now following this good news neil stock over there in hong kong has seen a pretty nice bounce this morning take a look yeah this morning right now it is around 3 a.m uh, 2 a.m eastern time uh, and 3 a.m beijing time and quite nice bounce very good and i talked about in my previous video i mean like the bottom is pretty close by the floor do not expect the floor to uh to break and also chinese stocks take a look wow all right uh, actually, uh, even though, look, it's only like up 0.43%, but at the start of the day, start of today, it dropped by quite a lot. It was a very it was a scary move down, but then everything got turned back around. Uh, so this is very nice, very nice. It seems to be reversing. China seems to be reversing. And I said in my previous video, even if this isn't the bottom this is what i expect to be the bottom 2700 for the shanghai stock exchange composite so we are pretty close to the bottom and even if this isn't the bottom uh, i mean like uh we can't really go much lower and that's the big takeaway guys we can't really go much lower all right